What's up YouTube? This is Clayton again and we are here for uh, From the woods to the cemetery part two now I got bad news and I got good news the bad news is I'm out here in the woods Looking for the cemetery again. This is an hour drive from my house. I've been out here This is actually my third time being out here looking for this cemetery and I have not found it yet But the good news is I am not gonna post this video unless I find it so if you're watching this that mean I got lucky today in finding the cemetery. That means I got lucky today in finding the cemetery. But I haven't found it yet. So let's go uh, hit the trail and see if we can find it together. All right? All right? Well, I've been doing some research. I've been talking to some local hunters, some people I know. And uh, they think they might know where it is. They gave me a couple hints. I did find, if you go by what you read online... A lot of that is not true. They actually tell you that to kind of make you not be able to find it. They kind of trick you, I guess you could say. Now this trail here is a horse trail only and hiking. If it looks like there's tire tracks or whatever, that's because the game wardens are allowed to come back here because this is a hunting area. You know, you are allowed to come out here and hunt. However, if I'm right, I think we got about another mile, mile and a half down this road, and then we're off to another side road, and it might be down there. So that's where we're headed. I'll talk to you when we get a little closer. So you guys might like to see that, it's pretty neat. Still walking. Hey, you know, I had a couple people ask me, why don't you just Google map it and see if you can find it from there? You know the base point of where it is, try that. Now I know we've told you, I've told you, Patty, Heather, we've all told you this is in the middle of the woods. We are not joking. This graveyard is in the middle of the woods. A little backstory on the town, because I looked it up some more. It's called uh, Manfield. And it was a town, about a hundred years ago, the railroads came through. And I believe the railroads had to pick where they want, what town they want to build by. And the railroad, the railroad company picked Inverness to build the railroad through. And when they did that, this town more or less, it lost everything. It, it didn't have people coming when they could take the train to the other place. Supplies just cost that much more. But when the town shut down, they had a, a library, a school, three uh, trading businesses, and a sawmill, and a newspaper. And the whole, the whole town disappeared because the train did not go through it. Isn't that crazy? But the uh, the graveyard's still there. That's what we're gonna find. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna turn all the way around. There's no find it on Google Earth because it's all trees. We are in the middle of nowhere. I thought it was about a mile down this road. Our trail. I think I'm already about a mile and a half down, and I don't see it anywhere. But I know I got about two hours of light left. So uh, we're gonna keep looking. But that's some backstory on this town, and that's why I can't just Google map it, because it's all woods. Let's keep looking. Okay guys, if my calculations are correct, which they might not be, I think it's down this path, right here. Now you can see, that's another path. I came from that one, and not too far back, there was a whole nether path. So, I mean, this place is a lot like a maze. But I think it's down this one, not too far. So, I'm going to let you walk with me, because if I'm right, we'll both see it together for the first time. And I see some fencing, guys. Oh, I'm getting excited. I see some fencing. Why else would there be fencing out here? I'm getting real excited. Oh, I think we just found it together for the first time. That's it, guys. We did it. Look at that. 
That graveyard has been abandoned for over 100 years. I've never been here before. That's it. That is the Mansfield Cemetery. We did it, guys. The Mansfield Cemetery. Let's go check it out. Let's see it, all right? Now, first thing I'm doing is gonna get a hold of Patty and Heather, and we're gonna set up to come out here at night. We're gonna read the spirits, see if we can hear these guys, find out what's going on. But for you guys who walked that with me, let's just go check it out real quick before we come back here for a night video, all right? Hope that, hope that camera was good. All right, guys, take it in, look at this. For everyone out there that likes, uh, graveyards it doesn't get any better than this the man filled cemetery and we are let's do another full shot around so you can see it we are in the woods that's the road we came back on right there the trail let's go in together guys now, hikers do come here. This trail isn't hidden from the world. There are a few people who know it. There are a couple YouTube videos on it, but none of them will tell you how to get here. And I hate to say it, I'm not going to either. But travelers will come by and put necklaces on here. Look, they, they updated the crosses. Hikers will come by and clean it up a little bit if trees fall in here. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, about 24, 25. They're so old, you, there's no writing on them. However, that one there, I was told, still has writing on it. So we're going to save that for last. Let's look around some more. This is really cool, guys. Some of these are so little. I wonder if they're just, these used to just be crosses and they broke apart. That's what they look like. These all used to be some kind of large crosses and they broke over time. We will definitely have to come out here at night and see if we can talk to the spirits. Let's, uh, let's look at this one. See that? There's some quarters. Hikers come by. We got some nice necklace there. Let's see if we can read this. Wilson. Lucinda Wilson. Born February 27th, 1824. Died June 22nd, 1879. So this may have been the last one put here. And it was in 1879. So, this graveyard is definitely, I would say, a hundred years old. Alright guys, I gotta get out of here, because I'm worried I gotta get back to my car while I still have some light. Uh, we will come back here at night. I'll get Patty, Heather, my friend Sarah, and we're gonna come back here and check this place out at night. See if we can get some readings, talk to some spirits, get some answers. So I'm going to head back to my car now. Thanks for uh, sticking around. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know a lot of it was walking, but look, we found it. We did it. Man-filled man cemetery, over 100 years old, from an abandoned town that isn't here no more. Uh, we're definitely going to have to come back here a few more times, check it out. But I will call Patty right now and let her know I found it so we can set something up. All right, guys.
See you soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Clayton with Time to Play TV. This was a long hike. This was a lot of work. So please hit that like button. Help me out. I appreciate it, guys. I'll see you around. Don't worry, we'll be back. We just gotta get here before it's too dark. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with the walk out. But uh, once again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys when we do the night video. And unless something really cool happens on my way out, this will be the end of it. So everyone take it easy. Thanks for watching. Hey, I'm back. I know I said I wouldn't make you guys walk out with me because it's boring, but if I'm being honest, I'm lonely. There's no one here to talk to. I got no friends. So, as I said, we are going to come back here tonight. Not tonight. We're going to come back here at night with Patty, Heather, my friend Sarah, and we're going to try to talk to the spirits. But throw some comments out there. Let me know if you guys are excited about this. I'm really excited. I think this is really cool. So let me know what you guys think. And uh, what do you think about, uh, I don't think I want to do overnight, but what do you think about, ow, what do you think about a challenge to come up here and just hang out for maybe an hour in the dark, drive here at night, do this hike in the night to it, and then hang out there for about a half an hour and then come back. Yeah, that half an hour at the cemetery would probably end up being about three hours total with hiking time and everything. Plus, it'd be dark, so would be walking a lot slower. But let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. I personally want to wait till we get a patty out there at the spirit box. I want to see how the vibe is, see how it feels before I decide if I want to come out here alone by myself. But um, that's all. I'm bored. I'm lonely. Walking all by myself. So I thought I'd uh, just say bye one more time. As long as I make it to my car safely, this is it, I promise. I will see you guys on the next video um, from the woods to the cemetery part three and that's where we will be coming here at night with the girls with the spirit box and we're gonna see what we can hear see what we can find at night so uh, keep a watch out for that give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more I'm Clayton and once again have a wonderful day go. I said goodbye. I'll see you guys on the next video. Jeez. Bye.